Well, so I can test a few things um, because most of the monorail in my loop do not go up and down monorail ramps. There's only one vehicle, oh, we'll see in a sec. There's only one monorail train that actually goes up and down uh, between levels. Um, I found out, I forgot about this, I have zero curve pieces over there that I have, uh, that I've copperized. Zero. <laughs> I got like a whole bin of curved pieces over there and none of them are copperized. I do have a whole bunch of straights that are copperized, but some of them are pretty beat up already. The copper has broken off the top, so I'd have to recopperize that one. And this is what happens. This is this is why for the longest time, copperizing monorail track is not show ready. Because the top goes down just perfectly fine and the, and the copper sticks. It will not stick. And I do not know why. I think it's because it's way too smooth. The copper will not stick on the ends. It just won't. It just won't stick. Literally at all. <laughs> no matter what you do. So uh, you have to like really pull down and not touch that ever again because it'll just fuck up like that. And then the more it flicks up, it's, it's steel, it's metal. It'll just break off like this one did on that side. And so you'll notice most of my ends are beat up. And this is why in the layout, there are 150 pieces of monorail, straight, curved, small, straight, small, curved, no switches, <laughs> no points, uh, but there's 150 pieces of monorail. And this is why I grouped them together uh, not just for time saving, because again, putting together 150 pieces of monorail takes a lot of time. Putting together 50 modules of monorail, 50 groups of monorail at a show, uh, it takes two thirds less time. <laughs> so so I, I, I cut the 150 down to 50, 50 different groups. And I, so the groups of monorail pieces stay together, which is fantastic. Uh, but th 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 forget setup time, you don't get this because you only get it on the ends that are not grouped together. And uh, you just hopefully be careful so that doesn't happen. Um, I have hypothesized, I have ruminated, I have pontificated on solutions for this, including glue. My issue with glue is that right now, today, if, well, this one's a little yellowed, but today if I wanted to sell this monorail track, and since this is already broken, it doesn't matter. I can take off the copper. Take it. Take it right off. Oh, yeah. Boop. No monorail, no, no copper on this monorail track now. I can, I can restore this monorail piece to original. So the copper track, the copper tape on the monorail comes off. Sometimes it's a little hard to take off, but again, in the end, it will come off. Um, and so I wanted that functionality as well, that should I wish to restore my monorail tracks to original, the tape comes off just like that. Now, the other suggestion, so I, the glue is out because <laughs> you would see it. If you glue these things on the end, you would see it when you take the, the tape off and the, and the monorail like, look at that there. That is, you, there's, you would see glue on that. And the parts might not fit together. The monorail might not fit together well. The other thing I thought about doing is sanding a little bit. Because you can see how smooth, like, look how glossy that is. And look how non-glossy the top of this is. And that's, this is why I think the monorail, I mean, the, the, the copper tape sticks nicely to this top and not to this side. That's what I think. I think this is a little bit rougher. It's not as schmoot as the Dutch people would say. Uh, and uh, this is way too smooth and there's nothing for it to grip onto. It just doesn't stick. Uh, so it is a bane. It is a problem. It is, I think for me, the number one problem besides the pickups of the actual train. This is the number one problem of the model. Because the pickups, I've got solutions for it. The pickups... I can actually work on and make better. The pickups are overall, I mean, I've been doing this, uh, oh my goodness, for a bunch of years now. Uh, the pickups are fine. This and stuff, not fine at all. <laughs> it's, it's a pain in the butt. It is a huge pain in the butt. And um, 
I haven't got a valid solution yet. What I was thinking is in, in order to spare my monorail tracks, my original monorail tracks, is that I would go to 3DFX, uh, 3D print, so whatever, that the people who print off uh, monorail uh, and just get the third party stuff because then I don't care. I can like glue it up and paint it up and tape it up and whatever I wanted to because it's not the original monorail. Again, because I, I not that I, you see me drill into Lego pieces, <laughs> I drilled in the monorail track. Uh, but overall, I don't like to uh, permanently damage. Oh, let's put it this way. I try to da permanently damage or permanently change as few pieces as possible. I really do. Uh, sometimes it's it can't be helped, like drilling holes through the bogies. <laughs> and again, I don't lose any sleep over it. But um, it is it is what it is. So, anywho. All that said, the issue with this this train here, this monorail here, is when I was at Jamie's shop, it would consistently, because of the lack of that on the front and back, because the wires were in the way, it would consistently kind of uh, hop up at the top and the motor was not the gear on the bottom, this, this gear here, that gear right there, was not interfacing with the rack anymore. It wasn't because the gear was off because it couldn't reach it. And no matter what I was trying, so this is why I rebuilt this entire thing um, to test to make sure that when it gets to the top. Now it sounds a little rough because I think these pieces are a little rough, which is why they're not in the layout. <laughs> um, but in the end, don't try this at home, kids. So it is going to work just fine. The pickups are just fine. The wiring's just fine. The, the swivels are just fine. And then I can put this thing on here just to see if this thing works. I highly doubt it. <laughs> uh, well, maybe. Because, I mean, it really should. But. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. That, that, that was too close. This thing is falling over. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think I have the uh, pickups out enough. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have the pickups. The wires are not out enough for this. So uh, give me Uno Momento por favor. And this is the only one that should be able to go up and down the ramps, even though it's the, the track that it's on doesn't go up and down the ramps, which is fine. Um, the wires are already a spaghetti factory because, or a bird's nest, as I like to say, because it went backwards for half a second. And that is the fundamental problem with these wire pickups on the monorail bogies is that they become a they become a bird's nest if the, the wires aren't maintained properly. And so you want to get, oh, come on, that's right there. And right there. I wanna do, I do wanna come up with a solution for that. I don't know what the solution is gonna be for that at all, but Again, I'm ruminating, I'm thinking about it, I'm pontificating. Blah, blah, blah. Da, 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 da. Oops. I don't think I turned it off. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> this is why I don't use the big ones at the ramps. So, uh, this one on the flat will be fine without any ramps. It should be absolutely fine. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is that one, and this one, this this one, because it's so short, it doesn't go up, the, up and down the ramps at all, <laughs> because it doesn't have the swiveling capabilities as the other ones, um, but it has, again, the the wires, so if we put that down, and get this thing in, in line so you can see it, um, 
See, as soon as you get to the ramp, it gets off because the it, it can't, it cannot do that. So it's gonna be fine. Um, I'm looking forward to the show. Um, I got those three done. I do have to fix the white one. I just, it's buried right now. I just might bring the soldering iron to the show because trying to dig it out, is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, but as of now, I think I'm good with the refurbishment of all those monorail trains and I'm good for the show this right now. Uh, I'm going to go on to other things. I got other things to fix and, um, we'll talk about that when I talk about that. So that's it that's all a nice very short video and uh i'm going to at some point make a um uh a, a small loop i'm going to put some copper on some curves so i can make a small loop that for testing the other thing i wanted to show you again the zombified wire look at this just the, the, I, this is one of the first connector connection. This is the only uh, monorail tracks that get modified. It's where the wire connects to the monorail track because basically I drill holes to the monorail and then I solder, which would melt the plastic underneath. But the um, but the pickups are soldered to, to the sides here and they go up to the top. And uh, this this works relatively well. It is a permanently changed piece of monorail track, but I have five of them which is fine out of the many pieces of my track I have. I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Um, and that, I, I did this one decades ago because, again, I would have replaced that. I just dug it up out of there. Uh, so that's it. That's all. Um, I'm happy with the trains and how they turned out, the monorail trains. And I'm going to revisit that and um, do some other stuff. So look forward to the videos. Uh, I'm looking forward to bricks in the six and if you can i'm looking forward to seeing you there so i'm not going to keep on pushing it because you know i'm not the sales guy for it um everybody out there stay safe take care and i'll talk to you soon